Have you ever felt like life is a series of unpredictable events, a complex board game where the rules seem hidden and the outcomes uncertain? Do you often find yourself questioning why, despite your best efforts, you seem to be stuck in the same patterns, unable to move forward? Or perhaps you've experienced fleeting success but felt an underlying emptiness, as if the victory wasn't what you truly needed or wanted. Imagine for a moment that life indeed operates very much like a game. However, unlike the games we are accustomed to playing, where the rules are clearly outlined in a booklet, the rules of life are often learned through trial and error, through the subtle cues of our environment and the deep reflections of our own experiences. What if you could learn these rules more explicitly and apply them consciously to improve your gameplay, that is, the way you lead your life? This audiobook is designed to guide you through understanding the fundamental rules of this great game of life. It draws parallels between simple games of strategy and skill and the more complex game of living a fulfilling life. Each chapter of this book will introduce concepts that may at first seem familiar, Concepts like the rules, the game board, and strategies for winning. However, as we delve deeper, you will see these concepts in a new light, revealing profound spiritual insights that are applicable to your personal and professional life. The aim is not merely to survive, but to thrive, to play the game of life with wisdom, skill, and joy. To achieve this, we must first understand the layout of our own personal game board. Our thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes shape this board. They dictate where we start, the challenges we face, and the shortcuts we might take. Recognizing how these elements influence our game is crucial in setting ourselves up for success. From there, we'll explore the rules, the universal laws that govern our world. Just as every game has its rules that players must follow to succeed, Life too has its spiritual laws. Understanding these laws will allow us to make better decisions, anticipate challenges, and influence outcomes more favorably. We'll delve into strategies for winning, not against others, but within ourselves, overcoming internal conflicts and external obstacles. As we progress, we will consider how to play effectively with others. Life, much like many board games, often involves other players. Learning how to interact with them, how to compete with compassion and cooperate with empathy, will be essential in navigating our way towards success. We will explore how to master the inner game, that quiet, often overlooked aspect of our existence that holds the key to true contentment and peace. Finally, we'll look at what it means to truly win in the game of life. Is it wealth, fame, an external success? Or is it something deeper, more enduring? We will redefine what victory looks like, aligning it with spiritual fulfillment and peace, the grand prizes that truly enrich our lives. By the end of this audiobook, you will have a clearer understanding of how to approach life's challenges with a new perspective. You will learn to see life not as a series of obstacles or mere chances, but as a beautifully designed game where every move you make is part of a broader strategy towards achieving lasting success and happiness. Now, are you ready to learn the rules, develop your strategies, and start playing the game of life with newfound confidence and insight? Let us embark on this enlightening journey together, uncovering the secrets and embracing the wisdom needed to play the game of life effectively and joyously. Chapter 1. The Game Board of Life How our mental game board shapes our reality The game of life is fundamentally influenced by the thoughts and intentions we nurture, akin to how a player's strategy shapes their trajectory in a game. This understanding isn't merely philosophical, it's practical and grounded in both ancient wisdom and modern psychological research. Thoughts and intentions are not abstract concepts floating in our minds, they are potent energies that dictate the course of our lives. Consider the profound impact of belief and expectation. These are not just passive states of mind, but are active and dynamic forces that shape our reality. 
Our beliefs about ourselves and the world inform our expectations, which in turn, color our experiences. If you enter a complex game fully convinced that it is rigged against you, your defeat is almost certain not because the game is indeed unfair, but because your approach will prevent you from making strategic moves that could lead to victory. Similarly, if we approach life with a mindset ingrained with limitations and negativity, our reality will manifest those very limitations and adversities. The mechanism through which thoughts and intentions shape reality can be understood through the lens of cognitive psychology. Cognitive psychologists assert that our thoughts influence our emotions and behaviors. If you consistently think you are incapable of achieving a goal, your emotional state, comprising doubt and fear, will likely deter you from taking the necessary actions that would lead to success. On the other hand, nurturing a positive thought process fosters emotions like hope and courage, driving actions that are aligned with success and fulfillment. The law of attraction, a principle widely recognized in the discourse of modern spirituality and self-help, echoes this notion by suggesting that like attracts like. This law posits that positive thoughts will attract positive outcomes, while negative thoughts will do the opposite. Skeptics might dismiss this as wishful thinking, however, when dissected through the behavioral lens, it holds merit. By focusing on positive outcomes, you are more likely to notice opportunities and take actions conducive to achieving your aspirations, thereby increasing the likelihood of actualizing them. Moreover, Intention plays a crucial role in directing our mental energy towards our goals. Intentions are more than just wishes, they are commitments to our goals. Setting a clear intention is like plotting a course on a map before embarking on a journey. It defines the destination and the paths we intend to take to reach it. Without clear intentions, our thoughts can scatter and our energies dissipate leaving us to wander aimlessly through life. Practical applications of this understanding are evident in various success stories and personal development strategies. For instance, visualization techniques, where individuals are encouraged to picture their desired outcomes vividly, harness the power of intention and thought. Athletes often use this technique to improve performance, and business professionals visualize successful presentations and meetings to enhance their confidence and effectiveness. The power of thought and intention in shaping our reality is a fundamental rule in the game of life. As players in this game, our ability to control and direct our thoughts and intentions determines our success. By understanding and applying this rule, we can strategically navigate through life, making moves that align with our deepest desires and aspirations, and ultimately, manifesting the reality we seek. Setting up your pieces, aligning intentions and actions. Beliefs are the underlying convictions that we hold, often unconsciously, about ourselves, others, and the world at large. These beliefs are powerful enough to shape our behaviors, dictate our actions, and influence the outcomes we experience in both our personal and professional lives. Like the rules of a game that determine how it is played, our beliefs set the framework within which we operate, defining what we consider possible or impossible, worthwhile or unworthy. In the personal realm, beliefs impact virtually every aspect of our lives, from our health and happiness to our relationships and self-esteem. For instance, if you believe that you are unworthy of love, this belief is likely to manifest in your relationships as a pattern of settling for less than you deserve, or avoiding intimacy altogether. Conversely, if you hold the belief that you are lovable and deserving of affection, you are more likely to attract and cultivate healthy, fulfilling relationships. This principle extends to our professional lives as well. Beliefs about our capabilities profoundly influence our career paths and achievements. A person who believes they are inherently bad at public speaking may avoid opportunities that require this skill, thus limiting their career advancement. On the other hand, someone who believes they can learn and excel at public speaking is more likely to seek out opportunities to develop this skill, 
thereby enhancing their professional profile and opportunities. The formation of these beliefs often begins in early childhood, shaped by the feedback we receive from the environment, our experiences, and the significant figures in our lives. Over time, these beliefs become ingrained, forming a belief system that operates largely outside of our conscious awareness, yet powerfully influences our daily actions and decisions. Recognizing and challenging our limiting beliefs is essential for personal and professional growth. This process begins with self-awareness, being able to identify which of our beliefs are serving us well and which are holding us back. Techniques such as journaling, mindfulness meditation, and cognitive behavioral therapy are effective tools for uncovering and examining these deeply held convictions. Once identified, the process of changing these beliefs requires persistence and consistency. This can be achieved through affirmations, positive, present tense statements that are repeated regularly to help reprogram the mind towards more empowering beliefs. For example, replacing the belief I am bad at public speaking with I am improving at public speaking every day can gradually change how you view yourself and enhance your performance in professional settings. Furthermore, the environment plays a crucial role in reinforcing our new beliefs. Surrounding ourselves with people who embody and support our desired beliefs and engaging in communities where these beliefs are normalized can significantly accelerate our transformation. This is similar to playing a game where the environment can be adjusted to favor certain outcomes, by consciously choosing our environment, we can better align it with our goals and the type of life we wish to lead. Beliefs are not just passive thoughts, they are active creators of our reality. By understanding the profound impact that our beliefs have on our personal and professional lives, and by actively shaping these beliefs, we can take control of the game board of life. This control allows us to move strategically toward our desired outcomes, effectively using our newfound understanding to play the game of life not just competently, but with mastery. Chapter 2. The Rules of the Game Universal Laws as the Rules of Life's Game The law of attraction is one of the most discussed and intriguing spiritual laws, positing that by focusing our thoughts on desired outcomes, we can draw these experiences into our lives. Like attracting like, this law suggests that our predominant thoughts will find a way to manifest. Understanding and applying the law of attraction can be akin to learning how to use a powerful tool within the game of life, one that enables players to influence the board, the pieces, and the outcomes more directly and intentionally. At its core, the law of attraction is about vibrational match. Everything in the universe, including thoughts, feelings, and physical entities, operates at certain vibrational frequencies. By aligning our personal frequency with that of our desires, we purportedly attract them into our life. This concept is not only spiritual but has parallels in psychological practices which show how a positive mindset can bring about better results in one's life. For practical applications, the law of attraction involves several key practices. The first is visualization. This practice entails forming a clear and vivid picture in the mind of what you wish to achieve or acquire. Visualizing your goals as already accomplished can evoke strong emotions, such as joy and gratitude, which help to further solidify this mental imagery as a perceived reality. Sports psychologists often use visualization techniques to enhance athletes' performance, they are asked to see themselves winning a race or scoring a goal thereby mentally simulating the success which helps to manifest it physically. Another practical application is the use of affirmations. Affirmations are positive, precise, and present tense statements that individuals repeat to themselves to reinforce beliefs in their capabilities and worth. By affirming our goals and the positive aspects of ourselves, we can improve our self-image and confidence, which are crucial for achieving success. 
Affirmations like I am a confident and skilled speaker can transform a person's self-perception over time, influencing their actions and the reactions they receive from the environment. Gratitude also plays a critical role in the law of attraction. By appreciating what we already have, we align ourselves with a frequency of abundance, which can attract more abundance. Practicing gratitude can shift focus from what is lacking to what is plentiful, creating a more positive mindset and a fertile ground for receiving more of what we cherish. Moreover, taking inspired action is essential. While it's important to mentally align with our desires, physical effort must also follow. The universe is more likely to help those who are actively working towards their dreams. This step is about recognizing and seizing the opportunities that come our way, which may require keen observation and a willingness to step out of our comfort zones. Letting go of the outcome is an advanced aspect of the law of attraction. This involves releasing our attachment to the results and trusting that the universe will provide the right outcome at the right time. This doesn't mean giving up on goals, but rather adopting a flexible approach and accepting that the path to achieving our desires might differ from our initial expectations. The law of attraction isn't just a mystical concept, but a practical tool in the game of life. By understanding how to effectively utilize this law, individuals can enhance their ability to navigate through life's myriad challenges and opportunities. This proactive approach to life empowers individuals to not only dream about the lives they want, but actively draw these dreams into reality through focused thought, emotion, and action. The law of reciprocity is a profound social principle that underpins much of human interaction and is integral to building and sustaining meaningful relationships. It suggests that when someone does something for us, we feel compelled to return the favor. This law operates not just as a social expectation but as a deeply ingrained moral imperative, influencing our behaviors in both personal and professional spheres. Understanding and effectively applying this law can dramatically enhance one's ability to foster relationships that are not only mutually beneficial but also enriching and supportive. In the context of personal relationships, the law of reciprocity manifests in acts of kindness, support, and love. When these actions are reciprocated, relationships are strengthened and deepened. For instance, in a friendship, when one friend goes out of their way to provide support during a difficult time, the other friend is likely to feel a strong urge to be equally supportive when the situation is reversed. This reciprocal exchange builds a foundation of trust and mutual respect, which are cornerstones of any lasting relationship. In professional settings, this law is equally important. Consider the dynamics within a team environment. When a leader supports their team members' growth and development, team members are more likely to reciprocate with loyalty, high morale, and a strong commitment to their work. This reciprocal relationship creates a positive workplace culture and drives the team towards greater productivity and success. Similarly, in customer relationships, businesses that go above and beyond to satisfy their customers often see a reciprocal increase in customer loyalty and positive word of mouth, which are invaluable assets for any business. However, for the law of reciprocity to function effectively, the acts of giving must be genuine and not solely transactional. People are generally adept at discerning whether an act of kindness is heartfelt or if it carries an expectation of quid pro quo. Therefore, while it's important to understand the mechanics of this law, it's equally crucial to approach it with a mindset of genuine generosity rather than calculated gain. One practical way to harness the power of this law is through active listening and empathy. By genuinely engaging with others' thoughts and feelings, we show that we value them as individuals. This not only enhances the immediate interaction, but also sets the stage for a reciprocal exchange of empathy and understanding. In relationships, this can mean deeper connections and a greater willingness to support each other. Another application is in the consistency of giving. 
regular, small acts of kindness can be more effective than occasional grand gestures. In a professional context, this could mean regularly acknowledging team members' efforts, which can lead to increased job satisfaction and productivity over time. In personal relationships, consistent acts of consideration and kindness foster a nurturing environment where strong bonds can thrive. The law of reciprocity is a powerful tool in the game of life for building and maintaining relationships that are rich and fulfilling. By understanding this law and applying it with sincerity, one can effectively create an environment of mutual respect and support, which is beneficial not just for personal happiness but also for professional success. This reciprocal dynamic not only makes the game more enjoyable but also more rewarding, contributing to a cycle of generosity and gratitude that enhances every aspect of life. Chapter 3 Strategies for Winning Navigating Challenges with Wisdom and Insight Fear and doubt are pervasive aspects of the human experience, often acting as significant barriers to personal and spiritual growth. These emotional responses can paralyze us, prevent us from taking risks, and keep us from fully realizing our potential. However, spiritual practices provide powerful tools to navigate and transcend these barriers, allowing us to move forward with greater confidence and clarity. By integrating such practices into our daily lives, we can transform fear and doubt into catalysts for growth and self-discovery. Meditation is one of the most effective spiritual practices for addressing fear and doubt. Through meditation, individuals learn to observe their thoughts and emotions without attachment, recognizing that these are transient states that do not define them. This practice fosters a sense of inner peace and stability, making it easier to face uncertainties and challenges with equanimity. For example, mindfulness meditation encourages practitioners to stay present and attentive to the current moment, reducing the propensity to ruminate on past difficulties or future anxieties. Another powerful spiritual tool is the practice of affirmations. These are positive, empowering statements that individuals repeat to themselves to reinforce their ability to overcome challenges and change negative thought patterns. Affirmations such as, I am capable of facing my fears, or I trust my ability to make the best decision can significantly alter one's mindset, gradually replacing doubt with a sense of certainty and self-assuredness. Over time, these affirmations help to rewire the brain, shifting from a default state of fear and doubt to one of optimism and confidence. Prayer, whether in a religious context or as a secular practice of seeking guidance from a higher power, can also play a crucial role in overcoming fear and doubt. Prayer can provide comfort, strength, and a sense of connection to something greater than oneself, which can be incredibly reassuring in times of uncertainty. The act of prayer can help individuals release their fears and doubts, entrusting them to a higher power and thereby lightening their emotional load. Engaging in regular spiritual reading and study can also provide insights and perspectives that challenge and alleviate fear and doubt. Many spiritual traditions offer teachings on the impermanence of life's difficulties and the importance of faith and perseverance. By absorbing these teachings, individuals can gain a broader, more hopeful perspective on their problems, seeing them as temporary obstacles rather than insurmountable barriers. Yoga, which combines physical postures, breathing exercises, and meditation, is another integrative practice that effectively addresses fear and doubt. The physical aspects of yoga help to release tension and stress, which are often physical manifestations of fear and doubt. Simultaneously, the meditative aspects promote mental clarity and emotional resilience. Overcoming fear and doubt is crucial for anyone seeking to play the game of life more successfully. Spiritual practices offer profound and practical ways to transform these emotions from barriers into bridges, leading to greater personal empowerment and spiritual fulfillment. By consistently incorporating practices such as meditation, affirmations, prayer, spiritual study, and yoga into our daily routines, 
we equip ourselves with the tools necessary to face life's challenges with grace and confidence, turning our fears and doubts into opportunities for growth and enlightenment. The secret move, the power of surrender and letting go. Forgiveness is often overlooked as a critical element in personal growth and spiritual development. It is a powerful practice that not only heals old wounds, but also clears the way for new, positive experiences. Forgiveness involves letting go of anger, resentment, or vengeance towards someone who has harmed us, whether that harm is real or perceived. Embracing forgiveness can significantly shift how we play the game of life, impacting our emotional health, relationships, and overall well-being. At its core, forgiveness is about personal peace and liberation. Holding on to past hurts and grievances binds us to them, creating emotional baggage that weighs heavily on our hearts and minds. This baggage can hinder our ability to move forward and cloud our judgment, affecting our decisions and actions in numerous areas of life. By choosing to forgive, we release this burden and reclaim our energy and focus for more constructive pursuits. Forgiveness also fosters resilience by enhancing our ability to cope with future challenges. Learning to forgive teaches us about compassion and understanding, qualities that are essential for resilience. When we understand that everyone, including ourselves, makes mistakes and is capable of harm, whether intentionally or accidentally, we become more adept at navigating interpersonal conflicts and setbacks. This understanding allows us to bounce back more quickly from life's inevitable difficulties. Moreover, forgiveness has profound implications for our physical health. Research has shown that the act of forgiving can reduce stress, lower blood pressure, and improve heart health. These benefits are linked to the decrease in negative emotions that typically accompany forgiveness, such as anger and hostility, which are known to take a toll on the body over time. The process of forgiveness can be challenging, particularly when the hurt is deep or the other party is not willing to make amends. However, it is important to recognize that forgiveness is primarily for the benefit of the forgiver, not the forgiven. One effective method for cultivating forgiveness is through meditation and guided imagery, where individuals visualize the act of forgiving someone and imagine the feelings of release and peace that follow. Another approach is to write a letter of forgiveness. This exercise involves writing a letter to the person who has wronged you, expressing your feelings and your intention to forgive. The letter does not need to be sent, its purpose is to help articulate and process the emotions involved, facilitating a personal resolution. Spiritual teachings across various traditions emphasize the importance of forgiveness as a pathway to enlightenment and inner peace. These teachings suggest that forgiveness is not just an act, but a state of being if a way of living that embraces mercy and compassion over judgment and bitterness. Forgiveness is a secret element in the game of life that offers a profound advantage, it frees us from the past, enhances our emotional and physical well-being, and empowers us to face the future with optimism and grace. As we learn and apply the art of forgiveness, we not only improve our own lives, but also contribute to a more compassionate and understanding world. Through forgiveness, we transform our experiences of pain and betrayal into wisdom and strength, propelling our personal growth and spiritual evolution. Chapter 4 I Playing with Others Cooperative Strategies, The Importance of Empathy and Teamwork in the intricate game of life, navigating relationships and social interactions requires not just individual skill but also the ability to engage cooperatively with others. Empathy and teamwork emerge as foundational elements in this regard, serving as crucial strategies for playing effectively with others. These components foster environments where collaboration thrives, conflicts are resolved constructively, and collective goals are achieved more efficiently. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, is the cornerstone of effective teamwork. It allows individuals to step outside of their own perspectives and consider the thoughts, feelings, and motivations of others. 
This understanding is critical in a variety of settings, from the family unit to professional workplaces. In each scenario, empathy facilitates deeper communication and fosters a sense of shared understanding and respect. For example, in a team setting, when members genuinely understand and care for each other's concerns and viewpoints, they can more effectively align their efforts, anticipate potential issues, and support each other's contributions. Moreover, empathy contributes to conflict resolution, a vital aspect of any cooperative strategy. Conflicts are inevitable when individuals with diverse backgrounds and differing viewpoints collaborate. However, with empathy, conflicts can become opportunities for growth rather than points of fracture. When team members approach conflicts with a mindset geared towards understanding rather than winning, resolutions can be found that are acceptable to all parties, thereby strengthening the team rather than weakening it. Teamwork, when underpinned by empathy, leverages the unique strengths and compensates for the weaknesses of individual team members. This synergy not only boosts the collective capability but also enhances individual satisfaction and performance. Effective teamwork requires clear communication, shared goals, mutual support, and a commitment to group success over individual glory. These elements are most effective when each team member's input is valued and their roles are clearly defined yet flexible enough to adapt as challenges arise. In practical terms, Fostering empathy and effective teamwork can involve regular team-building activities that emphasize collaborative skills and relationship development. Workshops and exercises that focus on active listening, expressing appreciation, and collaborative problem-solving can significantly improve team dynamics. Additionally, Creating a culture where feedback is openly exchanged and diverse viewpoints are encouraged can help solidify the foundation of a strong, cohesive team. In leadership roles, emphasizing empathy and teamwork can transform management styles from directive to participative, where leaders work alongside their teams, guiding through example and mutual engagement rather than solely through authority. This approach not only motivates team members but also drives innovation and creativity by harnessing the collective intelligence of the group. In the game of life, mastering cooperative strategies through empathy and teamwork is akin to assembling a well-coordinated ensemble where each player's strengths are utilized to create a harmonious performance. This alignment not only brings about successful outcomes but also enriches the relationships and experiences of all involved. In a world that is increasingly interconnected, the ability to collaborate effectively with empathy and teamwork is not just beneficial but essential for achieving both personal success and broader societal progress. Competing with compassion, balancing self-interest and altruism. In the game of life, competition is inevitable. Whether in personal ambitions, career advancements, or even in social settings, we often find ourselves in situations where our goals are pitted against those of others. However, competing with compassion introduces a nuanced strategy that enriches this dynamic, promoting a balance between self-interest and altruism that can lead to more fulfilling and sustainable outcomes for all involved. Competing with compassion does not mean sacrificing one's goals for the sake of others, rather, it involves pursuing personal ambitions while also considering the well-being of competitors and the broader community. This approach recognizes that true success is not zero-sum, but can be shared and even multiplied through cooperative efforts and mutual respect. One of the key aspects of competing with compassion is empathy, which was highlighted in the previous discussion on teamwork. In competitive scenarios, empathy allows us to understand and respect the motivations and challenges of our competitors. This understanding can transform competition from a cutthroat fight to a respectful rivalry that pushes everyone to improve. For example, in a professional environment, rather than undermining colleagues to secure a promotion, a compassionate competitor would strive for excellence in their own performance, encourage their colleagues to do the same, and celebrate shared successes. 
Another important element is the concept of fair play, which involves adhering to ethical standards and rules, ensuring that competition is just and equitable. Practicing fair play demonstrates respect for the process and for all participants, fostering a positive competitive environment. It also builds trust and reputation, which are crucial for long-term success in any field. Moreover, competing with compassion involves acknowledging the impact of our actions on the broader community and the environment. This wider perspective might lead one to consider not only how to win, but also how the manner of winning affects others. For instance, a business might choose to engage in practices that are not only profitable, but also sustainable and beneficial to the community, such as employing local workers, using environmentally friendly materials, or supporting community projects. The balance of self-interest and altruism can also be nurtured through reflective practices. Regularly assessing one's motivations and the outcomes of one's competitive strategies can help maintain this balance. Asking questions like, am I pursuing my goals in a way that respects others, or how can my success also contribute to the success of others, can guide one towards more compassionate competition. Competing with compassion enriches the game of life by adding depth and meaning to our pursuits. It allows us to strive for our goals vigorously while also enhancing the lives of others and fostering a healthier, more cooperative society. This balanced approach not only leads to individual success, but also contributes to the creation of a more just and thriving world. In the grand scheme, it's not just about winning the game, but about how we play it and the legacy we leave behind. Chapter 5. Mastering the Inner Game Inner game techniques, meditation and mindfulness. Mastering the inner game is crucial for effective engagement in the outer game of life. Central to this mastery are meditation and mindfulness, techniques that enhance self-awareness and foster a deep sense of inner peace and clarity. By cultivating these practices, individuals can significantly improve their emotional intelligence, resilience, and overall ability to navigate life's complexities with greater composure and insight. Meditation involves engaging in mental exercises to focus and redirect thoughts, often leading to enhanced relaxation and concentration. This practice can take many forms, from guided visualizations to silent, seated meditations focused on the breath. Regardless of the method, the core goal of meditation is to achieve a state of mental clarity and calmness, which can help mitigate the effects of stress, anxiety, and overstimulation that are common in our fast-paced world. By regularly practicing meditation, individuals can develop a heightened ability to regulate their emotions and respond to stressful situations with a balanced, clear perspective. Mindfulness, often practiced alongside or as a part of meditation, involves maintaining a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and surrounding environment. This practice encourages an attitude of non-judgmental observation, where each thought and sensation is acknowledged but not necessarily acted upon. Through mindfulness, individuals learn to observe their habitual patterns of thinking and reacting, which can be transformative in breaking cycles of negative thoughts, emotional reactivity, and unhealthy behaviors. The benefits of meditation and mindfulness are not just psychological, but also physiological. Research has shown that these practices can reduce blood pressure, improve immune function, and decrease cortisol levels, which are often elevated in times of stress. Additionally, by fostering a greater awareness of the present moment, mindfulness and meditation can enhance one's quality of life, making everyday experiences more vivid and enjoyable. In practical application, incorporating meditation and mindfulness into daily routines can be simple yet profoundly effective. Starting with just a few minutes a day, individuals can use meditation to create a dedicated time for self-reflection and calming the mind. This can gradually be extended as the practice becomes more familiar and comfortable. Similarly, 
mindfulness can be integrated into daily activities, such as eating, walking, or even during conversations, by fully focusing on the present experience and engaging all senses. Moreover, these inner game techniques are crucial in developing other important skills, such as empathy and emotional intelligence. By becoming more aware of one's own internal states through meditation and mindfulness, individuals are better equipped to understand and empathize with others, enhancing interpersonal relationships and communication. Meditation and mindfulness are foundational techniques for mastering the inner game of life. They equip individuals with the tools needed to manage stress, navigate emotional landscapes, and engage more fully with the present moment. Through regular practice, these techniques not only improve mental and physical health, but also enrich one's engagement with life, providing a robust foundation for personal growth and well-being. Achieving personal victory, overcoming inner conflicts. Achieving personal victory involves mastering the complex internal battles that we often face, which include doubts, fears, conflicting desires, and self-imposed limitations. Overcoming these inner conflicts is essential for personal growth and fulfillment, enabling us to act with integrity and pursue our goals with unwavering commitment. This victory is not about defeating aspects of ourselves, but rather integrating and understanding them to move forward more cohesively and purposefully. Inner conflicts often arise from the dissonance between our values, goals, and the actions we find ourselves taking. For instance, one might value health highly but struggle to resist unhealthy eating habits. Alternatively, someone might aspire to a career in the arts, but fear the financial instability that might accompany such a path. These conflicts can create significant stress and hinder one's ability to make clear, confident decisions. A key strategy in overcoming these conflicts is self-reflection. This involves taking time to deeply explore personal values, beliefs, and the motivations behind conflicting impulses. Journaling, meditative contemplation, and psychotherapy are effective tools for this exploration. They help uncover the root causes of conflicts and provide clarity on what truly matters to the individual. Understanding the origins and structures of these conflicts often leads to better strategies for resolving them and aligning one's life with one's true desires and values. Another crucial approach is the development of self-compassion. Many internal conflicts are exacerbated by harsh self-judgment and unrealistic standards of perfection. Learning to treat oneself with kindness and understanding can alleviate much of the emotional turmoil associated with inner conflicts. Practices like mindfulness meditation and cognitive behavioral techniques can teach individuals how to observe their thoughts and emotions without judgment, fostering an attitude of compassion and patience with oneself. Cognitive restructuring, a method used in cognitive behavioral therapy, is another effective technique for overcoming inner conflicts. It involves identifying and challenging the negative thought patterns that fuel conflicts and replacing them with more positive, realistic thoughts. For example, replacing the thought I must be perfect with it's okay to make mistakes, I can learn from them, can reduce the anxiety and indecision that often accompany perfectionism. Setting small, achievable goals can also help resolve inner conflicts by providing clear direction and manageable steps towards larger objectives. This method reduces the overwhelm that can come from big, seemingly insurmountable goals and helps build confidence and momentum as each smaller goal is achieved. Finally, seeking feedback and support from trusted friends, mentors, or counselors can provide new perspectives and encouragement. These relationships can offer valuable insights and help reinforce the personal changes one is striving to make. Achieving personal victory over inner conflicts is a transformative process that enhances self-awareness, fosters greater alignment with one's values, and promotes a more fulfilling life. By understanding and addressing the roots of these conflicts, practicing self-compassion, employing cognitive restructuring, 
setting achievable goals, and leaning on supportive relationships, individuals can navigate their internal landscapes with greater ease and confidence, leading to true personal victory in the game of life. Chapter 6 Leveling Up Growth as the Game's Progression In the expansive game of life, growth is not merely an option but an essential component of progression. This growth can be understood as both personal development and the expansion of one's capabilities, knowledge, and understanding. It is through this continual process of growth that individuals navigate the various stages of life, adapting to new challenges and seizing opportunities for improvement and advancement. Growth in this context is analogous to leveling up in a game, where each new level presents more complex challenges and richer rewards. As we grow, we evolve from basic competences and understandings to more sophisticated and nuanced insights and abilities. This progression is not linear but cyclical and iterative, with each phase of growth building upon the previous ones and setting the stage for future development. One of the key drivers of growth is the pursuit of lifelong learning. Whether through formal education, self-directed study or experimental learning, continuously acquiring new knowledge and skills is crucial for staying relevant and effective in both personal and professional realms. For instance, in a professional context, learning new technologies or management techniques can lead to better job performance and career advancement. In personal life, learning about psychological wellness or physical health can improve quality of life and interpersonal relationships. Moreover, growth often involves stepping out of one's comfort zone. This means embracing challenges that may initially feel daunting but ultimately lead to significant personal development. Activities like traveling to new places, taking on a challenging project at work, or even engaging in difficult conversations can all serve as catalysts for growth. These experiences push individuals to develop new skills, adapt to unfamiliar situations, and rethink old patterns of behavior. Reflection is another critical aspect of growth. By regularly reflecting on experiences, successes, and failures, individuals gain insights into their behaviors and outcomes. Reflection allows for conscious recognition of what strategies are working and what needs to be changed, facilitating more informed decisions and more effective actions in the future. Additionally, growth is significantly enhanced by feedback. Constructive feedback from peers, mentors, or supervisors can provide external perspectives on one's performance, offering opportunities for improvement that might not be evident from a purely internal review. Feedback serves as a mirror reflecting both the strengths and areas for improvement, thereby guiding the personal and professional development process. Viewing growth as the game's progression provides a dynamic framework for personal and professional development. It emphasizes the importance of continuous learning, stepping outside comfort zones, reflective practice, and the value of feedback. These elements together ensure that individuals are not just passively experiencing life but are actively engaging with and shaping their journeys. By prioritizing growth, we equip ourselves with the tools needed to navigate the complexities of life more effectively and to embrace the endless opportunities for advancement and enrichment. Unlocking new levels, learning from life's lessons. Learning from life's lessons is akin to unlocking new levels in a game, where each lesson learned not only provides valuable insights, but also equips us with the necessary tools to tackle future challenges more effectively. Life's lessons come from varied sources, personal experiences, the successes and failures of others, or even moments of reflection and insight. Recognizing and assimilating these lessons is crucial for personal development and progression in the game of life. One of the most direct ways we learn from life is through our experiences. Every situation, whether deemed good or bad, offers a treasure trove of insights. Successes teach us what works and imbue us with confidence, while failures are often even more instructive, highlighting flaws in our assumptions, gaps in our knowledge, 
or shortcomings in our skills. For instance, a failed relationship might teach someone about the importance of communication and honesty, or a successful project at work might highlight the benefits of teamwork and thorough planning. Reflective practice enhances our ability to learn from these experiences. This involves taking deliberate time to think about our actions, reactions, and the outcomes they produced. Techniques like journaling, meditative contemplation, or structured debriefings with peers or mentors can facilitate this process. By reflecting on what happened, why it happened, and how different approaches might have led to different outcomes, we deepen our understanding and improve our future responses. Moreover, life's lessons often come embedded in the feedback we receive from others. This feedback can be formal, as in performance reviews at work, or informal, as in casual conversations with friends or family. Openness to this feedback, listening without defensiveness and considering the perspectives of others, can unlock new levels of personal insight and development. It allows us to see ourselves through the eyes of others, providing a broader and often clearer picture of our behavior and its impacts. Another key aspect of learning from life's lessons is adaptability, the ability to adjust one's approach based on new information and experiences. As we progress through life, the ability to pivot and adapt becomes increasingly important. This might mean changing career paths in response to evolving passions or market conditions, altering communication styles to better align with different personalities, or revising personal goals in light of new priorities or understandings. Learning from life's lessons and unlocking new levels of understanding and capability are essential strategies in the game of life. Each experience, reflection, piece of feedback, and required adaptation is a stepping stone to greater wisdom and effectiveness. By actively engaging with these lessons and incorporating them into our strategies for living, we not only improve our ability to navigate current challenges, but also prepare ourselves for future ones, continually moving forward in our personal and professional growth. Chapter 7. Winning the Grand Prize Defining what true success means spiritually In the broader context of the game of life, success is often measured by tangible achievements such as career advancement, wealth, and social status. However, defining true success spiritually introduces a deeper, more intrinsic layer to this concept, focusing on internal fulfillment, peace, and alignment with one's values and purpose. This spiritual definition of success shifts the focus from external accomplishments to internal growth and harmony, resonating with the core of our being. Spiritually, True success is often associated with the attainment of personal peace and the ability to live in alignment with one's deepest values. It involves cultivating qualities such as compassion, patience, and humility, and expressing these in our interactions with others and our approach to life's challenges. This kind of success is not necessarily visible to the outside world, but is profoundly felt by individuals as a sense of contentment and fulfillment that is not dependent on external conditions. One key aspect of defining success spiritually is self-realization. This process involves understanding one's true nature, strengths, and limitations, and integrating this understanding into all areas of life. Self-realization encourages an individual to transcend the ego-driven pursuits typical of societal success models and instead, aim for a deeper understanding of oneself and one's place in the universe. Practices such as meditation, introspective reflection, and spiritual study can facilitate this journey, helping individuals to peel back the layers of societal conditioning and personal illusion to reveal their true essence. Another component of spiritual success is the development and maintenance of meaningful relationships. While traditional success metrics might emphasize independence and personal achievement, spiritual success places significant value on the quality of one's relationships and the ability to foster connections that are nurturing, supportive, and based on mutual growth. This reflects the understanding that we are intrinsically social beings, 
and our happiness and fulfillment are deeply intertwined with the well-being of those around us. Furthermore, true spiritual success involves contributing to the greater good. This might mean using one's talents and resources to help others, improve the community, or protect the environment. This contribution does not seek personal gain but is driven by a genuine desire to make a positive impact. This altruistic component of success is crucial in spiritual traditions, where the well-being of the individual is often seen as linked to the well-being of the collective. Defining true success spiritually broadens the narrow conventional paths to achievement, inviting a richer and more fulfilling perspective. It encourages individuals to look beyond themselves and their immediate desires, to consider their lives as part of a larger, interconnected whole. Achieving success in this spiritual sense provides a profound sense of purpose and satisfaction, ultimately contributing to a life well lived in harmony with oneself and the world. The ultimate reward, achieving peace and spiritual fulfillment. The ultimate reward in the game of life, from a spiritual perspective, is achieving peace and spiritual fulfillment. This state represents the pinnacle of personal development, where an individual lives in harmony with their inner self and the outer world, experiencing a profound sense of contentment and purpose that transcends material success and the transient ups and downs of daily life. Achieving this level of peace and fulfillment is often seen as the culmination of a lifelong journey of self-discovery, learning, and transformation. It involves a deep reconciliation of inner conflicts, a comprehensive understanding of one's life purpose, and a steadfast alignment with one's core values and principles. This reward is not handed out arbitrarily, it is earned through persistent effort, deep introspection, and a commitment to spiritual growth. One key aspect of achieving spiritual peace is the practice of mindfulness. By consistently engaging in mindfulness, individuals cultivate a present-centered awareness that buffers against the fluctuations of mind and mood. This practice enables them to experience life more fully, appreciate the present moment, and react to life's challenges with greater calm and less perturbation. Mindfulness reduces stress, enhances emotional resilience, and promotes a general sense of well-being, all of which contribute to spiritual peace. Another vital component is the practice of acceptance. Acceptance involves embracing life as it is, without resistance or denial. This does not imply passivity or resignation, but rather a wise acknowledgement of reality as the foundation from which positive change can occur. Through acceptance, individuals learn to navigate life's complexities with grace, recognizing that many of the sources of their suffering are rooted in a desire for things to be different than they are. Forgiveness, too, plays a critical role in achieving spiritual fulfillment. Holding on to grievances and regrets can tie an individual to the past and obstruct spiritual progress. Forgiveness liberates the soul from these binds, allowing for a renewal of spirit and a freedom to move forward without the heavy burdens of anger and resentment. Furthermore, the pursuit of one's life purpose is integral to achieving spiritual fulfillment. When individuals engage in activities that align with their deep-seated passions and values, they experience a sense of authenticity and joy that significantly contributes to their overall sense of fulfillment. This alignment often involves serving others and contributing to the greater good, activities that not only fulfill personal aspirations but also foster a sense of connection with the larger community. Achieving peace and spiritual fulfillment is the ultimate reward for navigating the game of life with awareness, compassion, and integrity. This state of being brings with it a profound tranquility and a deep-seated joy that are not easily shaken by external circumstances. It is a reward that enriches not just the individual but also the lives of those around them, creating a ripple effect of peace and positivity that extends far beyond the immediate environment. As we draw this exploration to a close, we reflect on the profound journey through the game of life and the numerous insights we've garnered on how to play it effectively. Each chapter has built upon the last, 
creating a comprehensive guide designed to equip you with the tools, strategies, and wisdom necessary to navigate this complex yet rewarding game. From understanding the power of thought and intention in shaping our realities, to recognizing the universal laws that guide our actions and the importance of developing cooperative relationships, this audiobook has delved deep into the spiritual and practical aspects of life. We've learned that life, much like any game, has its rules and strategies, its challenges and rewards, and most importantly, its opportunities for growth and development. We began by setting the groundwork, exploring how our mental and spiritual attitudes shape the board on which we play. We examined the importance of aligning our actions with our deepest intentions, and how doing so sets us in motion toward achieving our true potential. We moved on to discover the universal laws that act as the rules of the game, and how understanding and working with these laws can facilitate our journey towards success and fulfillment. The strategies for winning the game involve turning challenges into stepping stones for growth, using every experience as a lesson in wisdom and insight. We discuss the secret power of surrender and letting go, learning that sometimes, the strength lies not in holding on tighter but in releasing control and trusting the process. Playing with others brought to light the invaluable roles of empathy and teamwork, emphasizing that our interactions with others can propel us forward or hold us back, depending on how we engage and collaborate. We learned that competing with compassion allows us to pursue our goals while also uplifting those around us, creating a win-win scenario in the truest sense. Mastering the inner game through techniques like meditation and mindfulness taught us the importance of self-awareness and self-regulation. These skills are essential for maintaining inner peace and clarity amidst life's inevitable storms. Overcoming inner conflicts and aligning our actions with our values leads to personal victories that resonate deeply and last a lifetime. As we progress to higher levels in the game, we understood that continuous growth and learning are not just beneficial but essential. We explored how embracing life's lessons and adapting to new stages of life enhances our ability to thrive. Finally, we concluded with the ultimate reward of achieving peace and spiritual fulfillment, which is the true mark of success in the game of life. In closing, remember that the game of life is not merely about reaching a destination, but about how we journey through it. The paths we choose, the ways we respond to our circumstances, and the insights we gather are what color our experiences and ultimately, define our existence. Each step you take is an integral part of a larger narrative you are creating. With each decision, you are not just moving a piece on the board you are shaping the legacy of your life. Let this audiobook be a guide, but not the only guide you follow. Continue to seek knowledge, pursue understanding, and remain open to life's infinite possibilities. Challenge yourself to live fully and fearlessly, with compassion and kindness as your compasses. May you play the game of life with strategic wisdom, joyous enthusiasm, and, above all, a deep and abiding peace.